Hello everyone, welcome to find the FPV channel. For this video, I would like to talk about the word frame in FPV drone. And for this content is specifically it's specific to the racing drone or freestyle drone. We are not talking about the DJI drone or the cinematic cinematic drone that you fly to get the, the the very nice smooth footage for your advertisement uh, and i'm sorry uh, actually fpv racing drone is used for advertising also but uh and it's not kind of just um family drone we this kind of frame we use for pure fun pure excitement and didn't really rushing so let's get into it I should start from the first original design of racing drone or FPV drone which is small looks like this so this is we call it uh, according to the arm design we call it an edge frame because it just looks like an edge when you uh, look at this line between these front models and the rear models and the main plate it just more of an edge later when it is more uh, it's clearer at this position that yeah, it looks like an edge so we call it an edge arm design and uh, another example that will make you get it yeah so you, you see it looks like an edge so we call it edge arm design just simple as that then the the diagonal line between the model yeah the distance between uh, these these two models uh, we call it the model distance and for the example the length of this diagonal line is 250 millimeters so we call it uh, the, the frame this frame is called ZMR250 according to its uh, model distance and as you can see that this frame is uh, different from this the left frame uh, in terms of the body as you can see the body composed of two plates and uh, because the arm is replaceable if you unscrew this four screw out and uh, you can remove just the arm out and you can replace the arm so we call this kind of frame uh, replaceable arm and for this frame there is no way we can replace the an arm if you want to replace you have to replace the whole plate because the whole main plate is a unibody plate it's just a single plate we call it unibody design which just like that it's just it's just a single piece so and we call it unibody design so this is unibody design edge frame and this is a replaceable arm design edge frame and in terms of another other kinds of arm design here we go this is a squash x arm design as you can see that the arm design is look like an x letter but the x letter is just squeezed from the top uh, i mean the front uh no not this way this is the front so it is squeezed from the front and from the rear so the eggs is kind of flatter from top and bottom when you look at this angle so we call it the squash eggs in contrary there is another arm design which we call it straight eggs as you can see the difference from straight eggs and squash egg is that the, the direction of the, the the way the X is squeezed so you can see that the straight X and beside this is the front this is the front of the of the drone so the stretch and beside that the X is squeezed from the sides and it's just that uh, it's just a, a tall X this is just a flatter X just like that this is stretch arm design and, and you name body stretch arm design this is a replaceable squash X frame design okay and uh, since we have the stretch X squash X so we also have a true X frame design arm design 
sorry, arm design. The true X arm design is just that it's just a symmetric X letter when you see from top. So the distance between either models, the distance between two models is equal from either side. It's just a just that through X arm design and this is uh, for this frame for this example we call it also we also call it a unibody frame because it's made from a, a single piece even though it is uh, this type of carbon fiber is made from molding process so we call it a mold carbon fiber frame and another kind of frame is just here is an X frame arm design X arm designs and uh, the, the special about this frame is because it's, it's made from a type of plastic which is quite durable and the spare the what is different from other frame previously is that it has a this stick to the either to all the four sides of the frame this stick we call it a brace uh, the brace is there for the rigidity of the frame and also the protection when you crash or fly into something the 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 brace tend to hit the object or the ground first and protect the main structure of the frame from damage so th uh, that is the the usefulness of the brace so we call this for example we call this a unibody frame with true x r design with the brace so we have we also have the mix design of the arm for this frame as you can see that the front arm two front arms is kind of edge arm design and the rear arms is kind of squash edge arm design so we call this kind of arm design hybrid frame when you see a different arm design between the front and the rear we all call it hybrid frame you, uh, the front may be a true a stretch x arm design and the rear might be maybe a true x arm design we also call it a hybrid frame just like that and for the the, the arm we have replaceable arms right so there are many types of replaceable arms as you can see this is normal replaceable arm uh, just a single arm and and this uh, the this one below is the uh, boomerang arm as you can see that it com combined the two arms together and it looks more like a boomerang um, if you modify it a little bit it, it should be a boomerang okay and for the canopy for a racing drone uh, for example, mostly for racing drone, we have some frame have a side you can select between a simple top plate like that, just a single piece of carbon fiber on the top, or you can choose a canopy. Canopy, you uh, if you use canopy, you can eliminate the need for for stands off, right? And it should be most mostly it it tend to be lighter and more durable, and it has. Uh, you can benefit from uh, the the aerodynamic uh, aerodynamic feature of of the, the structure. So let's add drag like that. Mostly used for racing drone. So we talk about racing drone already. So this kind of frame is like racing drone, and this kind of frame, or this kind of frame, or this come on, kind of frame is. Freestyle drone. The this thing, the this difference between freestyle drone and racing drone is the main body. So in racing drone, the body is quite small and compact to uh, to to be lighter and to be uh, less add to cause less air drag to be more aerodynamic and. For freestyle drone, there we we don't care much about aerodynamic or the 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 weight. So we extend the body out in order to be able to put 
more electronic, more reliable electronic for a longer range for uh, and I don't and for the sake of reliability and longer range and a bigger battery on the top and and you and with the longer longer top plate when you have longer top top plate you can place an HD camera and the battery on the top you have more space but for racing drone you can mostly you cannot put a HD camera on the top uh, with battery because you have uh, the the space is too small for both of it and uh, for the mat battery mounting for most of racing drone, we ha we use the bottom mount battery. As you can see, the battery we place here. I will put a picture of it uh, right now. Uh, for example, of the bottom mount battery, and for the the freestyle drone, we tend to use a top mount battery. Top mount battery is just the place uh, the the placement of the battery on the top of the drone. So, what kind of frame you use if you put the battery on the top you we call it top mount battery <laughs> just like that and i think that's all for the frame design and thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video you can and you learn some new things from this video and uh fly safe and uh okay that's it i'm 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 out of work okay bye bye see you next video